It's Mac Jill. It's Pirate Ship Radio. Bro, bro, what's happening with it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, fam, fam. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. What it do? What it do? Hey, your kids in the building? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, how you doing, sir? Yeah, that's true, man. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. But it's all good, man. We're still working. Hey, man, we you on the ship. Welcome to the ship again, bro, bro. Welcome to the power ship, man. Shout out to the power ship radio, man. Shout out to the whole ABM, man. We're in here. ABM is in here. That's what's up. Yeah. 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 And Drake. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 it any other way. And check it out, man. That song is, is in a movie now. That song made a movie. So it's called Dilemma, and it's on Tubi. I'm not sure what it's about. That's just the facts that I know, right? So our local artists right here, man, we are still doing major things. Speaking of doing major things for all our local artists, I got A.O. Kid that just pulled up on me. We're going to chop it up with him in just a second. But first, Southwest Dez. Never heard of you, baby. Keep up, GQ. We'll come here right after this. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna talk about the projects you got coming up. Uh, hey, hey, Southwest Dez, never heard of you right there, man. Big shout to him for coming through. Hey, but check it out. Right now, here's a man that we've seen and heard perform not only at the Def Jam auditions, but at the Def Jam showcase. We've seen this man perform in many numerous places around the city. Just recently, we saw this man performing at the Juneteenth Music and Arts Festival, and every time he hits the stage, he kills it. He currently has a song in rotation right here on 103.5, and I just would like to welcome, for the very first time here on Pirate Ship Radio, we got A.O. Kid in the building. What's up with it, man? Yes, sir. What's going on, man? I just got to say, man, this is a long time coming. Yeah, uh, man, I gotta say, man, this is probably one of the biggest milestones that I've been trying to really do in my career right now, as far as me being a local artist right now in the city. Yeah, and I just wanted to just say it's all a number of straight blessings. And hey, look, yeah. you know, her, you know what I'm saying? We, Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, this is what we, it's what we got to do, it's what we're doing right now. So. Absolutely, and and you didn't come alone, you, you came with your partner that rocks with you yes, all the time sir. as well. Yes, welcome sir. to the ship, man. We got a J Champ in the building. What's yes, up with sir, it, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate the opportunity y'all showing us. And I'm saying you guys be showing us a lot of love. Mm-hmm. Uh, my name is Jay Cham, originally from Africa. So Morocco you know, in the building, right? Uh, Africa, Cameroon, Cameroon. Cameroon, that's yeah, right. That's Cameroon. Africa. Cameroon. 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 Doing it, you know, saying that big, and y'all yeah. love it. Too. Absolutely. Yeah, so I was gonna say, man, how do, how, do, how do people feel about you guys, you know, representing and, and doing this, man? I mean, because y'all are out here just really, really doing it. Like, do y'all have people that's away, that's like looking at y'all and watching to see what's going on? I mean, man, as far as when it comes down to the really the Afro wave, man, I really didn't really start doing it until I really met him a couple years ago. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? It was just something that he was just like, man, you know, your your voice is just so unique. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. Gotta try kind of dipping into the Afro lane a little bit. Okay. And so I just kind of. You know what I'm saying? Just studying Wiz Kids, studying Burner Boy, and all that, man. Next thing you know, I came up with this, you know, my first little Afro track with him. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? It hit, it hit, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it got out there, man. But then I'm like, you know what? Let's, let, let me keep going I'm with it, man. Let's see. You know yeah. Let me see if we can keep kind of going on with it. Right. And then I came up with that just a little bit joint. And next thing you know, man, like, it's taking, it's, it's taking it's off. It's going off right now. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, people love that song right now. Yeah, so they, they really do. Yeah. They really do. It's like, it's wow. really do. I'm a, it's, it's a couple of things that I noticed about the record, um, but I'll talk to you. Yeah. I'll talk to you off air about that. Though. It's Pirate okay. Ship Radio. <laughs> uh, but, but we'll get it together. I think I think you might know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. All right. So, but but okay. So you hooked up with him to come out with that. Was there a different sound that you were using previously? Uh, so the the sound that I that I really originally been doing is always I've always called it kind of sauce. It was a sound that I really created, man, with me and my brother Ripley's, um, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. 
but you know what I'm saying it was just the sound that me and him just kind of just created it was more kind of like a, a rap and singing type vibe that we kind of that we both created right and it's just kind of like that wavy music and then next thing you know I recruited J Cham he picked up on it and then we just kind of just threw in the afro mix and the and, and the sauce and then you know we just be stirring the pot all right basically <laughs> afro only afro only afro only so like and but it wasn't it wasn't clicking for me. Okay. Uh, cause, like, it was something I, that was missing. Yeah, it's something missing because I moved out here when I was, you know, just shy of a teenager. I was 20 years old when I moved out here. So went to college in Southwestern, so I'm a bulldog. Okay. Yeah, waiting for it. So shout out to Southwestern yeah. University. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, after that, uh, you know, I was I had soaking so much with American culture that I can't just speak my truth I know I have no American in it you know what I'm saying yeah, so yeah. whenever I went to Africa it was bland you know what I'm saying you could tell something was missing yeah. you know what I'm saying so yeah. whenever I was linked up I had the opportunity to explore that you know that American side that you know I had lived and experienced for over 10 years mm -hmm. I got to explore that now recording with him because it was easy for me to to say that on his type of music so mm -hmm. in your you life yeah in the Afro <laughs> you can't have done this speaking on Afro yeah, tracks like can. that you know what I'm saying you can't say no style yeah. but I've lived up that line too so like you know he don't where do yeah, I yeah 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 that's the Phoenix who created who came up with this fusion now that's where you hear and it's just a little bit on the other tracks that we got yeah. all I know is that time you can see that fusion where it's not just Afro, but it's a taste of Black American culture in the Afro. Yeah, and all the music that we're doing. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. We, we feel like we got something unique, and we, we really feel like three, four, five years from now, we're going to have a whole genre that we're creating right mm -hmm. now, because yeah. you know, it's based on the experience that you leave. You know yeah. what I'm Let's go ahead and play this other record here that you got first that we got, all right? Okay. Let's get into that one right here. Go ahead and introduce this one real fast. Uh, which, which one you finna play right now? No, we gonna, we, let's, let's come up with it, man. Let's come yeah. up. So Came Up, yeah. so came up is that's came up is my originally my style. It was a style that I really created, um, you know what I'm saying? You know, my own unique style that I really did. I kind of put a little bit of, I would say, like maybe a little bit of just that Atlanta and Dallas, you know what I'm saying, kind of mixing together. So that's just my original sound. So that was just one song, man, that I was just kind of just going through some things, man. And just like you know what people kind of you know they kind of been mad at sleeping me because yeah they kind of been sleeping on me mad at me you know like so you know what came up man you know, right, that's what i'm go. doing man i'm grinding all right here we go man <laughs> hey, hey, yo, kid came up 1035 yeah, yo. You said earlier that that particular record right there that came up, you said that was kind of like your original sound that you was yes, no, that's with my, yeah, that's my before rhythm. you switched to the Afro beat, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so records like that, are there no more of those? No, it's a <laughs> <laughs> See now, if we go back to man, we'll say, how can I put it? Like records like that, yeah. he's great at it, yes. right? Oh, well, listen, let me use it. He's good at it, yes, right? But yeah. it, it puts him among a category of another hundred thousand other good artists. Okay. But now when he switched to Afro, it puts him in that category of like maybe fifty to twenty. Yeah, great. Right, yeah, he cuts that number so significantly. Now, yeah. yeah, so yeah. like, for example, we 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 here for the interview for you know because of the traction we gained from that last song, mm -hmm. but we've been putting out music. Yeah, we've been putting out music. There's, yeah, there's a lot more. Yeah. more that's so man, this was the first Afro song, and which you know it drops actually Monday. Okay, mm -hmm. so this yeah, song had, is not even available. Yeah, they, like, just a little bit on the radio. Man, people have been asking know, for it. Been asking it drops on Monday song. on every platform. On Monday. <laughs> and it's not even out yet. Yeah, it's not, not even out, out yet. yet. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. why we know that this is the route that we have to focus on. Mm -hmm. And then, like you know, but the truth about it is, like any label that gets us is getting there. You know, a sweet deal. Okay, well, yeah, it's we, not we, a bad move. Like, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm definitely, I definitely, my goal is to definitely be able to. I, I will say versatility, man. I want to be able to do it all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But still, I definitely am going to be making a project with that, with that. You know what I'm saying? That main sound that you heard on that yeah. um, came up. Like I do got some tracks right now that I'm just sitting on that has that same exact 
sound. Yeah, that, you that you gonna have thing. to revisit that. Yeah, yeah. Every every so yeah, often. Yeah, that's you can't just let that go thing. because yeah. that's a major hit. Yeah. That's a that's a big song. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A big record. Most definitely. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna be trying to still dip it tab into that, you know what I'm saying, that main that that other ver- that other version right. of it, you know what I'm saying? You know what they what they call them? Alter egos. Alter, yeah, 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 alter yeah. egos. Yeah, okay. I got a lot of alter egos. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So check this out. Um, projects. Any any past projects that's already out? Because like I said, this one isn't released. Are there any other songs and uh, uh, records or, or visuals, videos, things like yes, that? Yes, are yes, out? yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, we just released on New Year's uh, this year. Okay. We released a song called Nobody. That was um, it's collab between me and I. That was my track. It featured on. Um, it's pretty good. We are we somewhere around ten k or nine k right now views. Um, mm-hmm. you know, so I'm YouTube. trying to get the views organic, so we're trying to do promo here and there. But that's on YouTube, uh, Spotify. Yeah. We'll probably be twenty thousand, uh, maybe two thousand views. Yeah. Uh, monthly yeah. listeners. How many? Uh-huh. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Six hundred. Nobody. Yeah. 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 Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. So mm-hmm. uh, we're doing okay number wise, but like that's just from us sharing on our social media without mm-hmm. you know no aggressive promotion type stuff. But okay. The visuals are amazing. You know. Uh, shout out to. I'm definitely gonna I'm, I'm definitely gonna send that came up. I'm gonna send that out to uh some of the DJs that I rock with across the country. Okay. That okay. we kinda just exchange music every once in a while, yeah. back and forth, yeah. you know, they may hear somebody and send it my way uh-huh. and I'll rock it on my show. Okay. And then vice versa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they're definitely gonna get a, a copy of this one right here. Okay. A couple of club DJs that I know out there in the ATL as well. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, shoot yeah, them down that yeah, way. Yeah. You know yes. uh, so we'll, we'll 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 see how it does. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's that way. Any any finished projects like mixtapes or any full albums, anything like that done yet? 